Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about the beauty and the nuisance that is stems. I run a hybrid mix setup, which means that everything goes out through analog summing and an analog mix bus. That makes stems really awful. For those of you who are in the box, stems is easy peasy, because you just render whatever you have in the box. I have to record it in real time back into the computer and do that for every group of tracks that I want to stem out. So what are stems? I define stems as groups of the multitrack that together sums up to be a perfect copy of the mix. So I know that people call the actual multitracks stems nowadays in some instances, but I don't. So this is these are old school stems made to make a perfect copy of the mix, or as close to perfect as I can get, at least in my setup. Those stems can then be used to make a perfect copy of the mix with a slightly louder vocal, or no vocal at all, or change something with the drums. You can basically remix the song, but keep the integrity of the groups of instruments as in the first mix. For me personally, stems are also a way of, of archiving my work. I try always not only to hand over the stereo mix, but also stems of the, of the mix so that a client can recall a mix and do changes in the future. So stems are great, but it's also a nuisance. For me, it's a nuisance because it takes so long and I have to babysit the stem process. Basically what I do is solo the tracks that I want to stem together, record them back into the computer, and I have to do that for every stem that I want to save, which often ends up in like 8 to 10 stems, which is 8 to 10 times the length of the song and additional overhead of setting it up. So that's a quite long time that I have to sit here and just babysit listening through uh, the different instrument tracks that are going to be stems. So automating that would be amazing. And I, at last, found a way to do, to do that. And that's all due to the mighty DAW that is Reaper. So this is how. Please enjoy. Here's an eight minute prog rock track I've been working on. And this is a prime suspect for this automation of the stem rendering. Uh, as I'll show you a bit later. All my tracks are routed to folder tracks with the yellow handle. So I have drums, bass, guitar, vocals, background vocals, keys, miscellaneous uh, effects, uh, parallel buses and so on. And all of those are routed to four stereo hardware outputs with the red handles. And those are in turn routed out of the interface into my summing mixer. And there I have those four stereo uh, outputs from the computer and an additional mono bus for kick and snare. Those go into my analog mix bus chain, which is an SSL style compressor, a transient shaper, the magnetismus from Tegler Audio. And those are bussed into the Phoenix Audio mix bus EQ and then sent to the Wes Audio Rhea uh, very new compressor. When stemming out the individual groups, the SSL compressor is mostly disabled because it reacts differently to individual channels than a whole mix. But the other gear is often enabled because it's more color than dynamic control. The mix bus output is then sent back into the computer into a rec arm track, which is then sent to the master track, which is responsible for sending the stereo mix to the headphones and to the monitors. So I use a monitor controller to use multiple monitors, but my main monitors are the Denaudio Lead 48s and the old Oratones. So just to showcase an example in the Reaper mixer, you can see that I've soloed the drums folder and that will output the two hardware outputs, the dry drums and only the effects hardware output. And that will 
go for all of the folder tracks. The bass will go to the music and effects hardware output. The guitars will be output on the dry guitars output, but also on the effects output if I put effects on the guitar. And this is essentially what I want to automate. In practice then, you would solo the tracks or the folder tracks that you want to create a stem for. And then you go into the render to file window in Reaper where you set up your source as master mix, the bounds as time selection, and very important, the output rendering option should be set to online render. Then you add it to the render queue and you move on and you do this for all of the tracks or folder tracks that you want to create a stem for. Doing this for all of your tracks means that you get a render queue full of rendering operations. And these will then be rendered in a sequence automatically and you don't have to babysit anything. As a side note, I would highly recommend that you save a preset in the rendering window for this specific operation. So, the stems are done. I have to rename them, but that's a small price, I think, for being able to be somewhere else during the time-lapse video of actually Reaper doing the stems for me, and that's it. Big thanks to the Reaper blog for pointing me in this direction. Um, the key to this was to incorporate the master track um, in the setup, because that's what enables uh, the rendering to actually work on the online real-time audio. So please share this with anyone that has stems in their workflow. This is amazing and big ups Reaper. Cheers. <laughs>